Great Inventors by David Angus, read by Benjamin Soames. People have always tended to think of inventors as a bit odd, and the popular view of a crackpot, a mad professor, or an absent-minded dreamer has been reinforced by some of the most wonderful characters in fiction, from Count Frankenstein and his terrifying monster to Caractacus Potts and his flying car. There is an element of truth in all this. What marks out inventors is their ability to see things differently from everybody else, so naturally they are apt to be a bit eccentric. They also tend to be people who concentrate so hard on the problems that they want to solve that they can seem to be a bit absent-minded to the rest of us. The ancient Greek inventor Archimedes was sometimes so absorbed by his calculations that his servants would wash him and dress him without his appearing even to notice them. John Logie Baird, the inventor of television, when he was accused of being absent-minded, tapped his head and replied, I'm present-minded in here. I'm only absent-minded on the outside. So invention can often be a rather lonely, even secretive business. Perhaps the greatest example of this can be found in the work of the 15th century Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo is most famous for his magnificent paintings such as The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa. But when he died, his notebooks were discovered to contain, as well as sketches, the most astonishing technical drawings of completely original inventions, some of them ideas for machines that would not be developed for hundreds of years. Certainly, in his own lifetime, nobody could have taken them very seriously, and Leonardo made his notes in a code that he'd invented called mirror writing, so that only he could read them. He made detailed drawings of a tank powered by horses, a parachute, a machine gun, a hang glider, a diving suit, a bicycle, and even a sort of helicopter. There wasn't the scientific knowledge in Leonardo's lifetime to have made any of these machines work, but all of them have been reinvented since. Invention is not quite the same thing as science. Scientific research often throws up new discoveries, sometimes quite by accident, but these are discoveries of things that already exist in nature. An inventor is someone who makes something that is entirely new, and sometimes inventions can actually change the world. Of course, science and invention may go hand in hand. A discovery by a scientist can inspire an inventor to turn it into something practically useful. Sample complete. Ready to continue?